already proud of them, guys. Y'all saw the title and y'all saw the thumbnail. See, I know why we're here. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for taking that step and wanting to change your ways because some people in this world, for whatever reason, they are stuck in their homophobic ways. There's nothing we can do about this. Probably some internal homophobia that they are struggling with. But that's none of my business. Every week during this Pride Month, I'm going to be doing a video dedicated to something in the gay community, whether it's talking about, and I ain't even about to say my ideas because some people do still. This video is going to be specifically for the terms and the phrases that people need to stop using because they're homophobic. So without further ado, I ain't going to say nothing else. Let's get into the video. First things first. I don't have a problem with gay people. Just don't bring it around me. Who are you? And the people that say this, they don't look the best. So if a girl don't want you, you see where I'm going with this? If a girl don't want you, what you think a man gonna want you for? When I say this, I don't mean to be hockey or whatever the case may be, but our standards, gay men's standards, in the looks department, they're higher than other people's. We just won't go for the average guy on the street. We want the finest. So if a gay man is interested in you and you're straight, take it as a compliment. But I'm just saying that just because we're gay, it doesn't mean that we want to humble yourself. Just like you have standards, we have standards too. Next thing, why are they making everything gay? You know how you sound? That's like a YouTube person saying, why are they putting black people in everything? Sounds racist, right? So it sounds prejudiced when you say, why are they making everything gay? They're not making everything gay. They're just making it more inclusive. They're just putting more representation for the gay community. Because certain places around the world, it's still illegal to be gay. It's not like gay people just came from nowhere. We've always been here. However, people just want to open about their sexuality. Y'all yeah, know I talked about me getting jumped and whatnot when I was younger. And this was before I even knew that I was gay. So just imagine people in the United States that grew up in the same time or even before. And they were scared to come out because of how gay people were treated. Who's the man and who's the woman in the relationship? Gender roles is not cute. It should have been eliminated a hundred years ago. It shouldn't even been a thing. Like why, if a girl want to cut the grass, why can't a girl just cut the grass? If a boy want to cook and clean, why can't he just cook and clean? Stop putting gender roles on everything. It's not cute. Are you living in the 50s still? No. So you need to evolve with the times and understand that a man can do what he want to do and still be a man and a woman can do what she want to do and still be a woman. This is my favorite. When did you turn gay? When did you turn straight? I just want to know, since we asking questions about when do we turn a sexuality, let me know. When did you turn straight? Because one day I just decided I wanted to be gay. One day I just decided I wanted to be hated by most of the world. We did not turn gay. We are gay. People are born gay. Just deal with it. You might think that you're straight, but the gag is sexuality is a spectrum and only a few people, only a few percentage of people in this world are a hundred percent straight. I lied. This is actually my favorite. <laughs> How do you know you're gay? If you ain't ever been with a girl before. I have. Y'all know, I talked about me being with girls all the time. I didn't feel complete. Even though I knew deep inside that I was gay, I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried. Girl after girl after girl after girl after girl. I just didn't feel nothing. But when I started dating guys, <sighs> butterflies, you know, just, I felt complete. Personally, I did try, but don't be asking people that because that is very offensive and very dismissive. Oh, I'm not homophobic. I have a gay friend. So, if a white person was to call you the N-word and say, I'm not racist, I have a black friend, how would you feel? Exactly. Exactly. So don't say it. Y'all say the dumbest shit ever. And it just doesn't make any sense why you want to say certain things. But certain people in this world, since you're gay, do you want to be a woman? When are you going to get your sex change operation? Since you like guys, you want to be a girl. No, that's not how it works, sweetie. Don't say that. It's very offensive. And if you say that to the wrong person. Speaking of. Calling somebody a sissy, don't do that. Because just because I like men, 
It does not mean that I want to be a woman. I just happen to like men. Labeling an object or an action as gay. Okay, so if I was to wear a pink shirt, where my pink shirt at? I was dirty. If I was to wear a pink shirt and somebody was to say, hey, why are you wearing pink? That's gay. Colors can't be gay. <laughs> Do y'all know the definition of gay? Do y'all know the definition of homosexual? It means a man likes men. That's it. It's plain and simple. It's that broad. It does not mean just because I'm wearing pink means I want to be a girl. It doesn't mean that I'm gay. When you see two guys hugging, you say that's so gay. That's not gay. They're just showing affection towards each other. Let's talk about the white man. The white man put this masculinity in y'all heads and got y'all feeling like y'all can't show love towards each other. But I ain't even about to get into that because this video is about terms that are homophobic. You don't act or look gay. What does that mean? What are you trying to say? But if a white person was to say to a black person, you don't act like the other black people I know. What is that supposed to mean? You feel like you can put us in a box and that's how we're supposed to be. No, we're human. We were made individually to be individuals. We were not all born at the same time, the same day, the same place. So don't tell me that you don't act or look gay. Because what does that mean? The F word. Y'all yeah, know the word. I can't say it on here because I ain't trying to get demonetized because they already gonna be tripping off the title. I just know it. But I don't even have to explain why you need to stop using that word because everybody knows it's very offensive. It's like a white person calling a black person the N word. So don't use the F word if you are not gay. Okay? It's other words that you can use. If you gotta resort to using the F word as a drag, as a read, as a comeback, sounds like you need to get a dictionary so you can open your vocabulary up because you need help. And that's basically all of the terms and phrases that I have for y'all. Please stop using these. It's not a good look. Like I said before, it's very offensive and if you say them to the wrong person, hate to see it. Some people don't react the way I do. Cause I might just say, hey, chill out with that. Don't say that, don't do that. The other person, they may be on go. But then again, like I told y'all in the privileges that straight men have, the gays don't video, they can use the Gay Defense Act, which is if a straight person was to attack a gay person, they can get off with it by pleading the Gay Defense Act. But to avoid all of that, just chill out. Just be respectful of other people. Show love. Just because I'm gay, it doesn't make me less of a person. It doesn't make me less of a man. Actually, I think I'm more a man than a straight person. Not only do I have to deal with hate from other black men for being gay, I gotta deal with the white men. He doesn't like me because I'm black and gay. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please share this to your friends, your family who are homophobic. The more that you share this video, the quicker we can probably get rid of the homophobia in this world. But like I said, leave a like, leave a comment. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything on Trust With TV. And I will catch you on the next episode of Trust With TV. I am gone.